Okay, so I think I'm about almost an hour away from a Joshua tree and we're here at the windmills. It's extremely windy. Right now, I pulled off to the side of the road. We are gonna see if we can get something with the 800 millimeter lens. Okay, so for this shot, I'm not gonna be using the extender. I'm only gonna be using the 800 millimeter by itself. I don't even know if I'm gonna, well, I'll get something, I'm sure I will. Okay, it is really windy out here. Oh, I just saw a rat. 800 millimeters seems to be a little extreme. Whoa, okay, so I wasn't thinking 800 was this hardcore. Now that I'm seeing what I have here with this 800 millimeters, it's just, it's a little extreme. It's way too much. There could be a change of plan. What if I just stay here until sundown and then take a picture of the moon while it's coming up and then use the windmills as a silhouette. I wanna get at least two fantastic, great pictures, but I'll be glad and happy and all this will be worth it if I get at least one. Trying to find the right composition with this lens is a lot more challenging than uh, I had anticipated. Yeah, so if I put the two times teleconverter on here, it's not gonna work. This is where I'm at. Joshua Park is in that direction. The moon rises from that direction, which is east. I think that's Pachanga Casino, somewhere over there. Now we, there's a freeway, there's a 10 freeway. So what is the goal of today? The goal is today is to get one good picture, just one good picture. I have an app and the app tells me that the moon is going to be coming up from over there. If this app is correct, the moon is going to be coming up right about here. Okay, so we have this in the way and this is way too close. So I'm looking for something else. Uh, I'm going to have to move a little bit further down the road. So the application is telling me that the sun is over there in that direction, which is right. And the moon is going to be coming up over there. So in order for me to get something, I'm thinking about maybe climbing this hill. It's actually maybe this hill right here. Okay, so for these kind of photo shoots trips like this i use this backpack right here because it carries everything i need hopefully hopefully i'll get something really cool really awesome like i said one picture that's all i need that's all i want just one fantastic picture and i'll bet you anything there's like snakes here man it's gonna be really freaky here at night but I already hear things. You know, Canon right now, they've got a bunch of awesome glass and four mirrorless cameras. The R, the RP, the R6, and the R5. I think out of all those cameras there, the one that is worth the least and the one that is overpriced is the R6. And most people would think that the order of the cameras would be like RP, then the R, then the R6, then the R5. But I think the order is really the RP, the R6, then the R, then the R5. But that's just me from everything I know. Oh yeah, there's a rabbit. Hey rabbit, what do you think about the R6? I think it's overpriced. Okay, so I think this is gonna be my spot, this boulder right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna be standing on this boulder right here. And this is where I'm chilling. And my view is over there because the moon's coming up from over there. And right now, I'm gonna do a test shot at 800 millimeter. 
Okay, okay. This could work. I might get something. Let me show you what I'll be getting where the moon's coming out from. Okay, so the moon's coming over those hills. And that's pretty much the shot. If I can get it like around here or in between there or make it, if I can make it come up like around here, that'd be cool if I can get it around there. So if this app is right, the moon's gonna come up right here. I don't want it coming up right here. I want it coming up around this area, which means I still have to move further that way, which is something I don't want to do, but I still have time, so I'm gonna have to do it. We're, we're moving. Okay, so talking about the R6, I think it's a fantastic camera. I actually think that if you are really into video, you wanna save some, no, you can't really save money there. It's just too expensive for what it is. There's like little animals everywhere. I mean, what's the price of the R6? Like 2,500, I think, give or take. I think that's expensive, especially for the features that it's, that it's lacking that the R does do. Should I just climb over here? Okay, so I found this spot right here, this little hill that I can climb. And if I photograph from there, that means that the moon's going to be coming up from right about. Oh, no way. I think I'm going the wrong direction. I think I need to be moving that way. No way, dude. Don't tell me you need to be going that way. Yeah, this is going to be a boring shot. There's nothing. Is there some? No, wait a minute. The original plan was to get like the silhouette of a, of a cactus. But come on, dude, relax. Be happy you'll get anything. If I position myself around here, maybe from back, no, I can't go any further. It needs to be here. Then the moon will be coming up over right behind this cactus right there. Let's see what we get at 800 millimeters. Jeez. 800 is way too much. 1,200, I'll be shooting like in between the branches of the, of the cactus. Okay, here, let me show you what I'm getting. That would be, see the moon's coming out from back there and it's gonna be the size of a quarter. And shooting through here, it's just gonna, no, it's not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for. Here's the thing. I'm not shooting at 800 millimeters. I'm actually shooting at 1600 millimeters. But the problem is because the cactus is so damn close, when I focus on the moon, the cactus is gonna look blurry and I'm not gonna get that shot that I'm looking for. Okay, so what's going on? Why am I here? What was I thinking? I was thinking this is gonna be cool and everyone's gonna like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so right now the app is telling me that the moon's gonna come up from over there, from right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Even if I focus at the moon, we're gonna go to manual focus. Even if I focus on the moon, this cactus is gonna look blurry as hell because it's too close. So what am I looking for? What's the plan? What's the goal? The goal is to get it close to that peak this right here like if i can get it coming up from like in between here how cool would that be right that's the plan there it is i figured it out if i can get the moon to either be right here in between or right here right up no not like i don't even know somewhere in there i might be happy we will never be happy can i just take a picture of something right now i don't see anything because 1600 is like way too far Okay, so something I'm learning is I know nothing, absolutely nothing when it comes to shooting an 800 millimeter or 1600 millimeter. This is my first time actually on the field with this lens. And like I said, it's exciting. Um, today is September 2nd. 
and we do have a full moon and I think the next full moon is going to be about a month from now let's keep walking let's let's go up there yeah let's have some fun okay we're a little bit higher now and um, let's see what the app says where the moon's gonna be coming out from I think this is nope this is not it this is something yeah this is it this is it the moon's coming up from from in between here so I'll probably use these guys you know to give some kind of like dimension I'm looking to place something in between this lens and the moon you know what unfortunately this is an f22 lens right now so i'm gonna just take some pictures just have some fun and then what really wait here until eight till it gets dark without a freaking light dude you really messed up i want to go a little bit higher no but i can't move from here this is the spot i don't know what to do because once the moon starts coming up i'll only have like probably five minutes to photograph it and if it's a great shot fantastic and if it's not then I'll tell you this though 1600 millimeter is way too much right now just way too much it's an exaggeration okay so now we are no longer at f22 we are now at f11 so that's pretty cool and maybe I can take yeah, it's still, 800 is just so much. So I did a bunch of shooting. I was trying to get bats and I was talking to the camera and the battery died. I had no idea that the battery had died. Right now we are at F, I think the last thing I said was we are at F11 <clears throat> and there's still nothing to shoot. Oh, what I was saying though is looking at the app, the moon's gonna come up in about 20 minutes so I'm just gonna wait here for 20 minutes the moon should be coming up from over there I'm gonna get really close to the moon at 1600 millimeters um, maybe do some video uh, I don't know it's either photography or it's video I love video video is just so much fun but you, you just can't do both um, there's bats everywhere and you can hear them but I'm just hoping I'm hoping if I'm right, that moon's coming up in between those boulders. Those boulders. Dude, there's no way I could be right. There's just no way. Look. The moon is supposed to come up right here. Right about there. And so what does that look like with the 1600? I'm thinking it'll come up from... right there right around there I think in between those two the moon's supposed to come up right around there and that's this right here we will see it's already too dark so I'm gonna put the vlogging camera on the, on this tripod right here so about the R6. The R6 is a great camera, don't get me wrong, but I think the R6 should be priced, if anything, if anything, it should be priced probably $400 above the R right now. It's just, it's way too expensive for what it is. It's just way too expensive. You know, the, the R6 feels like uh, an RP Mark II, where the R5 feels like the R Mark II. Um, so, what I recommend is if you're going to get, if you need to get a new camera, an R6 or an R5, only get the R6 if you're upgrading from the RP. Um, do not get the R6 and get rid of your R as a hybrid shooter. If you're only doing video, like if your thing is video, like big time video, like that's the thing, then yes, 
the R6 is better than the, than the R. But if you're going back and forth, if you're only doing photography, more photography than video, then the R is better than the R6. If you're going back and forth like how I do, I go 50-50, video and photography, there's no way I would get the, the R6 over the R. Um, it's getting darker and it's freaking me out because I'm hearing things. Okay, I am freaking out because I hear dogs. Dude. Okay, come on, dude. The moon's gonna come up in 20 minutes. Okay, I'm hearing like dogs or something like whimpering over there. I don't like that. So there's gonna be a slight change of plan. The moon's supposed to come up like in 20 minutes. I have no light. I'm not gonna use the tripod to take the picture all nice and comfy. Um, I'm gonna hand hold it, take the picture, and then run. This is not fun anymore. Okay, 20 minutes with the backpack on. No big deal, I can handle it. I can hear like the bats everywhere. How is it possible that I forgot a light? This is not cool. I hear a bunch of bats. I hear like whimpering of like dogs. I hear owls. It's gonna get dark. The moon's gonna come up from over there. The shot is going to suck. The sunset looks amazing. I'm not photographing anything. 1600 is just way too extreme. 800 is still kind of difficult. You know, I've never heard of anything like ever like bad happening at, you know, Joshua Tree. Like, oh, someone got mauled by a coyote. Don't come here. Why would they say that though, right? Don't come here. It's like, oh, he got killed. Don't say anything because you're going to scare people away. The sun is setting. You know what, I'll take some of these pictures right here. Maybe get some of these silhouettes. See, now I wish I was at 800. I can see Jupiter already. Can I, can I do a little bit of Jupiter shooting from here? Okay, so there's Jupiter right there. And you can see like the three moons. I'm hand holding it right now at 1600 millimeter. I'm shooting at 1080p. You know what, let's put it on the tripod. The moon comes up at approximately, there's no way the moon comes up and there's no way that's way too crazy. Yeah, because of the hills, the moon's gonna come up like in 40 minutes. Dude, there's no way. So just go to the car, live and learn. You're not gonna be here for 40 more minutes. Hell no. You have no light. There's still enough light to get out of here. And you know what they say, right? Live and learn. Live and learn. What's that other saying about running away and then fighting another day? That's another one, right? And that's what we're doing right now. We're not really running away. We're just like, it's like a change of plan. So it's actually really dark. Let's see, how does it really look? It actually looks like, like in real life, it looks like this. In real life, it looks this dark. Like, like this. This is what it looks like right now. Okay, so just, you know, talk about Oh, the R6 is the oddball out because the RP, even though it's not the greatest thing in the world, it's still awesome for like 700 bucks. Dude, the RP for 700 bucks is fantastic. The R for like 1,500 is a steal because the R to me is just a 5D Mark IV that is mirrorless. Like what more do you want? 
what is it I like about the R6? I mean, there are things I like about the R6, right? What I like about the R6 really has nothing to do with like performance or like image quality. Uh, I think what I like about the R6 is uh, the IBIS and dual card slots. Everything else, it's really no big deal. Um, and that's the thing, am I really gonna spend all that money just so that I can have IBIS and dual car slots and go down on megapixels and go down on um, shutter speed. The maximum shutter speed is four thousandth of a second. I mean, the 7D, the 7D Mark II, the 70D, the 90D, the 80D, all of those cameras go up to eight thousandth of a second. The only cameras that I'm aware of that go up to four thousandth of a second uh, are the 60 and the 60 Mark II. So what I'm gonna try and do, just run to the car and try and get something from the car. Just from there, nice and safe. No one's gonna die. I wish I would've gotten here early, but then again, same thing would've happened anyhow. I don't get it. Is it safe to be here? Okay, I don't know if it's safe, but here's the car. I feel fantastic. Life is great. We're back in business. One picture, just one cool picture. That looks awesome. Let's see. Dude, get the hell away from me. It's amazing. Here, let me show you. That looks awesome. Man, I just don't have enough cameras. Okay, there's the moon. Okay, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. Dude, I messed everything up. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Relax, no big deal. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal. Moon's coming out. Okay, you know what? Screw it, that's it. That's your composition. Come on, man, focus. Okay. So, that's what we're getting. Let me, let me just tweak, this is video. I wish I could be doing video instead. You know what? Let's take a picture. Let's hand hold this. Screw the tripod. Dude. Just, just one shot, dude. Just one picture. This is it. This is the picture. This is what I came here for. It sucks. It sucks. It's terrible. I got that lens is ultra. And not telephoto. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Get the program. Everything's a nightmare. This is it. This is it. I'm manually focusing. And then my weapon is all jacked up. No, it looks red. It is red. There. It's over. That's it. Just keep shooting, bro. You know what? Let's do some video. So was this worth it? I don't know. I was going to get water. And a granola bar. 
so. Is 800 too much? <laughs> with 1600, I mean, with 600, would that have been better? I mean, I'm at 1600 right now. Okay, we're done. It's over. This battery's dying. We got the shot. I think we got the shot. I, I don't know. Did we get the shot? Mm -hmm.